Brooklyn Beckham, Valladolid versus Barcelona, Amitabh Bakchan. Hey folks, this is Brian Gass with Google Trends for July 11th, 2020, 7-Eleven day. We've got a little bit to cover here. We're going to be going through trends, 200,000 plus trend searches, Brooklyn Beckham and Nicola Peltz are getting married. CNN is reporting on this one. Brooklyn Beckham asked Nicola Peltz to marry him and she said yes. The cameraman and model announced on Saturday. Beckham, whose parents are retired soccer star David Beckham and fashion designer Victoria Beckham popped the big question two weeks ago, but they're just letting the world know now. Two weeks ago, I asked my soulmate to marry me, and she said yes. Brooklyn Beckham, 21, wrote on Instagram, I'm the luckiest man in the world. I promise to be the best husband and the best daddy one day. He included a photo of the couple in a loving embrace. P Peltz, 25, shared the same photo on her Instagram page. You made me the luckiest girl in the world. I can't wait to sell, spend the rest of my life by your side, the actress wrote. So cool. Um, let me know in the comments how you feel. If you're a fan of David Beckham. And extend your well wishes to Brooklyn and Nicola. Valladolid versus Barcelona. USA Today is reporting... Real Validori versus Barcelona La Liga live stream schedule starting line at CV channel start time. Barcelona travel to take on Real Validori on Saturday at the Estadio Municipal Jose Zoria. Barcelona is still in pursuit of La Liga leaders Real Madrid. Only four points out of first place. Barcelona is in need of these points to continue their battle with Real Madrid for the title. This should be an absolute bevy of match to tune in for on Saturday afternoon. It's already happened. 120, so it was today. Um, not sure we got the results on that one. That was USA Today. We got ESPN reporting um, on this. Vidal strikes strike helps Barcelona keep pace with Real Madrid and La Liga. Lionel Messi notched a 20th assist of the season to help a lackluster Barcelona secure a 1-0. So they won. Barcelona won. To Syracuse, a 1 0 win away to Real Madrid on Saturday, maintain the pressure on La Liga's Real Madrid. Amitad Bakchan is hospitalized for coronavirus. This is a Bollywood actor. CNN is reporting has been hospitalized after testing positive for coronavirus, according to his official Twitter card. 77 year old actor on, was tweeted on Saturday I have tested COVID positive. Shifted to hospital, hospital affirming, informing authorities, family and staff under on tests. Results awaited. All that have been in close proximity in the last 10 days are requested to please get themselves tested. That's one way to do contact tracing. A living legend in Hindi language cinema, Bakshan, has made more than 180, like how I did that, uh, films in a career spanning five decades, 50 years, hailed by many as India's greatest living actor he's revered in his home nation. Wow. Started his first film in 1969, so barely 50 years now. He has dominated the silver screen for nearly half a century. Most of India's 70 years as an independent nation. Wow. Tucker Carlson. <sighs> Tucker Carlson's top writer resigns after secretly posting racist and sexist remarks in online forum what the heck I, sometimes i'm just like 
can people just refrain from this online? But I, I understand free speech. But I'm just like, when, when, and I know these people don't get paid a ton, but I'm thinking, like, if you have a job like that, maybe you have another one lined up, but I mean, just, just think, anything when, when you're in the public eye, but maybe you just don't think, and I know I did, just did a no-no with the COVID messengers, don't touch your face, I know, I know, I know, top writer for Fox News host Tucker Carlson has for years been using a pseudonym to post bigoted remarks on an online forum that has a hotbed of for racist, sexist, and other offensive content seen in business learned this week. Just this week, the writer Blake Neff responded to a thread started by another user in 2018 with a subject line, Who would you let a jet blag? Oh my gosh, do it for 50% off. I wouldn't get LASIK from an Asian for free, so no, wow. That's just. Yeah, I'm not going to. This is bad, but yeah. And over the course of five years, Neff has maintained a lengthy thread in which he has de derided a woman and posted information about her dating life that has invited other users to mock her and invade her privacy. So I guess this is at Facebook. There was, has at times also been overlap between some material he posted or saw on the forum and Carlson's show. Seeing business contact Neff for th comment Thursday night he, after he or someone acting on his behalf passed that email to Fox News spokespeople. A, a network spokesperson on Friday morning told CNN Business that Neff had resigned. Fox News spokesperson said on Friday that Carlson could not be reached for comment. Neff did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Big surprise. In a memo sent to employees Saturday afternoon after the story was first published, Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott and President Jay Wallace condemned horrific, racist, misogynistic, and homophobic behavior. Nev's abhorrent conduct on this forum was very never divulged to the show or the network until Friday, at which point we swiftly accepted his resignation. We swiftly, we swiftly accepted it. Well, okay. So he already was resigning. Um, Scott and Wallace wrote, Make no mistake, actions such as this cannot and will not be tolerated at any time in any part of our workforce. Scott and Wallace said that Carlson would address the matter on his Monday show. Well, eager to see that. Worked at Fox News for nearly four years and was Carlson's top writer. Wow. Previously, he was a writer reporter of the Daily Caller conservative news outlet that Carlson co-founded in a recent article in Dartmouth Alumni Magazine. Neff said anything Carlson is reading off the teleprompter the first draft was written by me wow he also acknowledged the show's influence telling the magazine we're very aware that we do not do have the power to sway the conversation so we try to use it responsibly Jill Scott praised So Jill Scott is trending. Tucker Carlson, Jill Scott pra praised after Kyle Quiero suggests singer is unattractive. Black Twitter defends Jill Scott as stands reaffirms her beauty. Man, why are people so cool? John Lewis, false report claimed John Lewis died. It's not funny. I just think, why are people making this stuff up? Liverpool versus Burnley. Soccer is trending those are 100k searches except for Valladolid versus Barcelona Kyle Williams Marty Fish he's a golfer leads Kyle Williams at American Century Celebrity Tournament so we got some golfing action Paige Van Zant. Wow survived gang rape bullying and suicide thoughts through her UFC career She was gang raped in high school. Paige Van Sant had a normal life like any other young girl growing up in Dayton, Oregon. Her parents owned a dance studio. Naturally, she grew up dancing in a variety of genres, including hip hop, jazz, and ballet. Outside of dancing, she had a tomboy streak and she enjoyed fishing and riding dirt bikes. Fortunately, all that in instance of a child was robbed from her when she was a freshman in high school. 26 year old detailed in her biography how she was 14 when she attended a party. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Rumors started swirling immediately after the incident. 
everywhere she turned, other students were getting her looks and making fun of her. That's horrible. Filled with fear and embarrassment, she would often retreat to the bathroom and stall when you get her lunch. That's horrible. She is incredibly successful now. Let me know what you think in the comments if you're if what your favorite Amitabh Bakchan movie was. If you're a fan of his. Richard Rose, 37 year old Portland war vet, dies from COVID 19. Oh, this is the guy who said, Yeah, he was trending. This is horrible. It, um, he had been posting how he, he wasn't a fan of masks and whatnot. All of a sudden, within a span of a few days, he dies because of COVID. Horrible. Taj Maori confesses love for Naya Rivera amid search for her. Wow. Remember, he's the one from Sister Sister. He's related to no, he's related to Tia and Tamara. Um, but I know he was on, I believe, Full House. My sweet Naya Maori, 34, wrote to say that on Disney would is a nightmare. Everything gets harder. However, I wholly hope you will we grew up together. We've become adults together. We experienced so many first together. You're my first experience with everything love, intimacy, heartbreak. We broke each other's hearts and then ended back together more than once. Mari sisters. This is the griot. We're amongst the first to comment on the actress's initials. This is so sad. Sheffield United versus Chelsea, another soccer game. Juventus versus Atalanta, another soccer. Soccer's heating up. Atlanta reopening rolled back to phase one. Nine-year-old shot four times in East Atlanta and was filming TikTok videos. United, Atlanta United's uniforms include special tributes. There's a lot going on in Atlanta. I don't know if, if um, but yeah, Atlanta is, is definitely, there's just, this COVID is just rampant. Business, uh, DACA is trending. Business, urge, business leaders urge Trump to leave DACA alone after court. So businesses, including Apple and General Motors, asked Trump to keep DACA in place. Interesting. A group of top business leaders asked U.S. President Donald Trump in a letter on Saturday to keep a program that protects nearly 800,000 young immigrants from deportation, starting that the, saying the economic recovery from the pandemic could be hurt if it is rescinded. That's, that is that is a good point. The letter arguing in support of the Obama-era deferred action for childhood arrivals program was sent by the Coalition for the American Dream and was signed by more than 100 corporations, including Apple, Hilton Worldwide, GM, Starbucks, Google, and Amazon. This is no time to disrupt the economic recovery of our companies and communities, nor time to jeopardize the health and safety of these vulnerable individuals. We ask that you leave DACA in place and refrain from taking any additional administrative actions that would inevitably impact the DACA program. I mean, I understand. I'm not going to get into politics. I understand on both sides. But yeah, I, I think this is a bad time to, to pursue the blocking of this. 7-Eleven's free, sorbet day is canceled, and these are and there are fewer food deals, tax day freebies due to COVID-19. The coronavirus, which causes the disease COVID-19, has led major companies to cancel postpone popular freebie day. And it, I guess it's uh, held annually, has been canceled, dead gummit. Still get a free slurpy drink in July. Well, that's good. I guess you could get it today. Chick Fil A's annual cow appreciation days, where consumers get free free food, doesn't go like how. In July has been postponed. Uh, Amazon Prime Day, annually held in July, has been postponed. Dang it! Andy Sandberg. Updates fans on the status. Rachel Bilson, Bill Hader, 
or quit and Goya boycott. A little bit of political back and forth between Trump and the CEO of Goya. Really, he's in support of it. Uh, he's in support of Trump, and I guess he's getting some backlash. August Alsina was trending yesterday and is now $5 million. Happy birthday, Lil' Kim, Giorgio Armani. And that's about it. All right, folks, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all later.